Did you know that eating this particular food with lettuce can lead to cancer and dementia? Lettuce, a popular wrap vegetable and natural tonic, has its best and worst food pairings. Even good lettuce must be eaten correctly to benefit the body. Eating it with harmful foods can damage your health. So, we have prepared this, three worst and three best food pairings with lettuce for cancer and dementia prevention. Grilled meat wrapped in lettuce is a popular dish, and lettuce is also used in fresh, sweet, and sour salads. Not only does it taste good, but its health benefits are also significant. It's rich in calcium, essential for bone health, and also contains minerals and vitamins that maximize its benefits. Moreover, lettuce has amazing calming effects, helping with stress and insomnia. It's even used in traditional medicine for arthritis and nerve pain. Have you heard about lettuce milk being launched abroad? Recently, milk concentrated with lettuce's health benefits has been receiving great praise, being selected as a future food. But did you know there are foods that, when eaten with lettuce, can harm your health? Let's look at the three worst and three best pairings with lettuce for cancer and dementia prevention. Firstly, the worst pairing with lettuce is samjang, Korean sauce used with grilled meat. Lettuce, a staple wrap vegetable, goes well with meat in terms of taste and nutrition. Lettuce replenishes the fiber and vitamins that meat lacks, and it helps prevent the saturated fats in meat from accumulating cholesterol in the blood vessels. However, when meat is grilled, benzopyrene, a harmful substance, can be produced, especially in the burnt parts. Amazingly, lettuce helps to eliminate benzopyrene from the body. The problem lies with samjang. It's often spicy or salty, containing a lot of sugar, salt, and seasoning. The excessive sodium content is a significant issue. Although sodium is necessary for health, too much of it, especially when combined with meat and samjang, leads to overconsumption. High sodium intake can raise blood pressure and stress the blood vessels, leading to strokes, cardiovascular diseases, and even stomach cancer. Now, the best pairing with lettuce is tofu. As mentioned earlier, lettuce milk is becoming popular abroad due to lettuce's excellent bone-strengthening properties. Lettuce contains high-quality plant proteins, calcium, and minerals that strengthen bones. It's almost 90% water, making it a perfect replacement for milk. According to recent health and nutrition surveys in Korea, the calcium intake of Koreans is significantly lower than the recommended daily amount. This is not only due to low calcium intake but also because our bodies absorb only about 20% of the calcium we consume. The absorption rate drops even more with age. Calcium is a key component of bones. Vitamin A and K increase calcium absorption. Lettuce is rich in both calcium and vitamins A and K. Women, in particular, benefit greatly from eating lettuce and tofu together. With age, the decrease in female hormones leads to menopause symptoms and a drop in bone density, leading to osteoporosis. The isoflavones in tofu, which have a chemical structure similar to female hormones, help prevent osteoporosis caused by hormonal deficiencies. Eating lettuce and tofu together in salads or mixed dishes is very beneficial. Secondly, the worst lettuce pairing is sweet and sour dressed lettuce. You might be surprised, as it's tasty and refreshing. However, the problem is the amount of sugar used. To balance the slightly bitter taste of lettuce, a lot of sugar is added. High sugar intake increases blood sugar levels, leading to inflammation and cancer, and even reduces the size of the hippocampus in the brain, responsible for memory, making sugar a major cause of dementia. 
Lettuce is rich in bone-healthy calcium and brain-healthy folic acid, vitamins, and minerals. But these vitamins are used up in digesting sugar. Also, sugar extracts calcium from bones. Eating sweet and sour dressed lettuce nullifies the health benefits of lettuce. Now, focusing on the second best lettuce pairing, which is onions. As mentioned, it's recommended to tear lettuce into small pieces, including the stem. Have you ever noticed the white sap that comes out when you break the stem? That's lacticarium, lettuce's miracle ingredient. It can make you feel sleepy and has a hypnotic effect. But it also clears the mind, cooling the head heated by stress and worries, and solving headaches. It also helps with sleep by aiding the secretion of the sleep hormone melatonin, thus alleviating insomnia. If you feel chest tightness due to stress, eating lettuce can relieve it. The cooling quality of lettuce detoxifies heat toxins and relieves chest tightness. When lettuce's nerve calming effect is combined with the sulfur compound allicin in onions, which stimulates the brain and relieves fatigue, the combination becomes highly effective for insomnia and stress relief. Additionally, the cooling quality of lettuce detoxifies inflammation and tumors in blood vessels. Combined with onions, known as the cleaners of blood vessels, this pairing becomes a miraculous anti-cancer diet. Lastly, the third worst pairing for lettuce is with certain medications, especially blood thinners like warfarin, cholesterol-lowering drugs, or aspirin. These medications thin the blood and dissolve blood clots. In contrast, vitamin K in lettuce promotes clotting. However, people on these medications should not avoid lettuce. In fact, they need to include it in their diet for vascular health. Cholesterol, a cause of cardiovascular diseases, is problematic not just by itself but because it accumulates and calcifies in arterial walls, leading to arteriosclerosis. Vitamin K in lettuce not only lowers cholesterol levels but also prevents arteriosclerosis. So, it's important to avoid eating lettuce one to two hours before or after taking these medications to not interfere with their effectiveness. Finally, the third best pairing with lettuce is eggs. Eating lettuce alone does not significantly benefit brain health, but combining it with eggs enhances its dementia-preventing effects. The secret lies in the vitamin D in eggs. Known as the sunshine vitamin, it's synthesized in the body when exposed to sunlight. It aids calcium absorption and especially promotes immune responses by transmitting signals between cells. Vitamin D keeps brain cells youthful and acts as a bridge between brain nerves, making it essential for brain health. Unfortunately, 90% of Koreans are deficient in vitamin D. Eggs are a rich source of vitamin D. Eating eggs alone might seem sufficient, but other vitamins need to be balanced for a synergistic effect. Eating lettuce and eggs together balances the minerals in the body, suppressing inflammation and dementia-causing substances in brain vessels. Isn't that amazing? Moreover, the choline in egg yolks boosts memory. So, eating eggs with lettuce not only strengthens bones, but also benefits protein pairing and especially brain health. You can eat them in omelets, fried eggs, or soft-boiled eggs with lettuce. To summarize, instead of eating lettuce with salty samjang, pair it with tofu. Instead of sweet and sour dressings, try it with onions. Those on hypertension medications should be cautious, and pairing lettuce with eggs is not only delicious but also very healthy. How about it? Take good care of your health by wisely pairing lettuce with beneficial foods. If the insights shared today resonated with you, I'd greatly appreciate if you could give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to activate all notifications. This ensures you won't miss out on any future nuggets of health wisdom. 
your support helps me continue my mission of spreading invaluable health and nutrition knowledge. Thank you immensely for tuning in. Remember, in every aspect of life, may you be blessed with robust health, abundant prosperity, and boundless joy. Until next time. Thank you.